What's up guys? Uh, welcome back for another Dev Pro Duel video. Uh, another match here in the Cross Banlist Cup, so uh, still Group F uh, with, uh, I think, yeah, the, the, the public's uh, favorite, or at least yeah, the, 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 the most favorite deck uh, to win the tournament here, which is of course Burning Abyss, uh, is paired up against uh, Dino Rabbit, or yeah, Macro Rabbit uh, from late 2012. Um, yeah, I'll come back to the deck list uh, in a few moments. So as I said before, uh, yeah, two very big decks here here in this game's history are paired up against each other. Uh, the first deck list was of course a Burning Abyss uh, with a Triple Tour Guide. Uh, very, very uh, good deck list. Of course, I'm using the, the winner of YCS Prague from, uh, I think it was three or four months ago. Uh, with, of course, yeah, Triple Tour Guide and Triple Mass Change the second. Mass Change 2 in the main deck. Uh, I think, yeah, the deck needs no introduction. As said, uh, Burning Abyss is definitely a candidate to win this uh, cup, to win this tournament. The second deck list is uh, Dino Rabbit, although it's an evolved version of Dino Rabbit. It's a uh, Macro Rabbit, uh, Dino Rabbit main decking, double Macro Cosmos, uh, together with Heavy Storm and so on, all the staple uh, cards, double Bottomless, double Torrential, double Solemn Morning and the Judgment in the main deck. Very brutal. And uh, this uh, deck is from uh, Jack Brune from YCS Barcelona from back in 2012. So both uh, Rabbit and Tour Guide were at 2 at that moment. Uh, so which deck has the advantage? Uh, Burning Abyss. Even though uh, Macro Rabbit has the advantage in Macro Cosmos, it still needs to draw it and protect it. Uh, because as you see in the, or as you saw on the deck list from Burning Abyss, uh, it, it's it's playing triple Rakeki Break, triple Wing Blast, and of course Fire Lake. Um, yes, Fire Lake is such a brutal card uh, against basically uh, every uh, yeah, every other deck, every counter deck or anti-meta oriented deck. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not really sure if uh, Dino Rabbit, Macro Rabbit has a chance here. So let's hop in into the first game. Alright, so the first tool. Um, I'll be not playing with uh, Macro Rabbit, my opponent's playing with uh, Burning Abyss. I lose the Rock, Paper, Scissors game, which is a, a, a heavily disadvantage here. Since he gets to start, he has a chance to already establish a field. And of course, a Dino Rabbit has a hard time getting over Double Dante uh, with uh, 2500 defense already very big. And triple back row, three spells or traps in the. Uh, yeah, in the back row, it's just hard to get over. You have a few options. I can go for the bunny first turn. Uh, but then again, yeah, the rank 4 exceeds. Mainly Dolka, Lakia, Utopia, and so on. Oh, don't really do anything now. Especially with uh, double Dante on the field. Uh, I could have waited with uh, the rabbit. Uh, just keep the rabbit in hand and like set the Sabersaurus. And set one of my back rows. Uh, and like hope. He doesn't have Fire Lake. But of course, of, yeah, of course he, do, he does have Fire Lake. Popping up to 3 cards on my side of the field. It's just, that's just brutal. Brutal if you can make advantage like that, especially by tributing double Dante. It's, it's, yeah, from this moment on, I, I already uh, pretty much uh, lost a duel. The, the, the card is so unfair. Anyway, it, it deals like, what's 4,500 damage, if I'm not mistaken, or 5,500, yeah, and, uh, something like, uh, yeah, and already established Engineer with Farfa, uh, so he can uh, activate Farfa during his turn, or at least, yeah, during my turn, by attaching it from the Engineer and banishing my Cerberosaurus until the end phase. And, yeah, you know, I think he has, uh, again, the Fire Lake from last turn, which he was able to get back with it, uh, one of his Dante, so that's, that's game over. <laughs> What can I do about that? Uh, the second tool I got to start. Very good hand, especially with the Macro Cosmos. So uh, I can't let him go for a tour guide summon, so I have to negate the summon with uh, Solemn Warning. He special summons this Skarm. Um, in the end phase, I'm going to flip over Cosmos, especially to bypass cards like uh, Phoenix Wing Blast or Rakeki Break, since he needs to discard the cost. Uh, the card will be banished, as what happens now. Of course, he has one of those six cards, so he can uh, destroy the Macro Cosmos. But I think I had to go for Love Item here. Uh, be aggressive. I don't want to wait. Uh, let him make uh, or at least yeah, draw into his outs. Let him draw into his outs. Make him uh, let him make advantage. Um, I think I also have to land here, of course. Uh, me having the macro cosmos here would have been very nice. Everything would have been banished. Um, so try to normal summon Guayba. Try to go for the exceed summon, but of course he activates the wing blast. Now uh, in the end phase, ending with uh, with no back row, no way uh, to protect myself. It's pretty much game over again. Uh, although I still have a, a small chance here. A chance here, um, although yeah, he detaches the Farfa, I 
believe, uh, so we can banish my Leviathan, so it, return in, uh, it will return the end phase at uh, 2000 attack, which is too low. Again, he has double Dante into Darnard, double Darnard with, uh, I believe he had both at uh, 2500 attack, which again is very high uh, if you're playing Dino Rabbit. Here you have two choices, either go for a rank 3 engine, uh, sitting the Spirit Reaper was it an option because of Darnard Magician, um, go for a rank 3 engine or rank 4 engine, rank 4 engine mainly Lagia Dolka or Utopia, but uh, those wouldn't really help me. And yeah, also um, by going into the Acid Golem, it was basically a death sentence, since I knew, uh, I mean, yeah, if he was able to get another Farfa uh, activated uh, on my Acid Golem, it, was, uh, it would have been game over. Again, uh, the Acid Golem returns to the field in the end phase without any materials, so I take uh, uh, 2000 burn damage, and that's pretty much game over. Um, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> Burning Abyss was just too strong, uh, too many power plays, especially also with uh, the Fire Lake. Fire Lake is just a blowout card against uh, Dino Rabbit, or yet yeah, Macro Rabbit. Uh, against pretty much every deck, uh, right? Uh, destroying up to three cards is a uh, very, very powerful effect. Um, yeah, doing the whole duel, I, 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 got, I got the feeling that... that I, I didn't really get uh, get the chance get get yeah, get get the chance to play uh, during the duel, or at least get the chance uh, to to win the game. Uh, the, the, the deck was just uh, yeah, Burning Abyss was just uh, too strong. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.